21 Action News exclusive evidence in a case against one man accused of recording women inside dressing rooms at Oak Park Mall. One of the victims snapped this photo of the suspect's phone in the dressing room at Forever 21 back in October. The victim's family shared it with me to share with you. Now, the suspect in this case faces two counts of breach of privacy. Now, since this case, we wanted to know if Forever 21 will make any changes to its dressing room area since men, women, and children all use the same ones. 41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan went to find out. But for a place like this, I don't think that's appropriate at all to have men and women and children in the same dressing room at all. I went into the Forever 21 at Oak Park Mall today and recorded this video. Lawyer Bernie Rhodes says this is legal. If I want to walk into a Forever 21 store and put my cell phone in my breast pocket and film my interaction with the sales clerk, that's perfectly legal. But once I get into the dressing room, the rules change. What a store can't do is they can't install security cameras in the bathroom or in the dressing room because there we have what we call an expectation of privacy. The same is true for perverts. I can record myself in the dressing room on my own device, which is what I did here. This shows that there's a large gap between the floor and the dressing room wall, which is how prosecutors allege a man took video of a girl and a woman here on his cell phone. Forever 21 is one of a handful of stores that allows men and women to try on clothes in the same area. A petition on change.org is calling on the store to separate their dressing rooms by gender. But Rhodes says he doesn't think changing the fitting rooms will stop people from breaking the law. It falls upon the individual who's acting illegally. He or she knows that what they're doing is wrong. Um, you, you, you could make the wall go all the way to the floor and they'll drill a hole in it. Rhodes says privacy laws can be violated anywhere, not just in the dressing rooms at Forever 21. And while the store may be in the news now, it's not the only place peeping Tom's strike. So unfortunately, it does happen more often than we would like to think. We did reach out to Forever 21 to find out if they intend to change their dressing rooms. We have yet to hear back. Reporting in Overland Park, Alyssa Donovan, 41 Action News.